like to thank you for all the letters and the phone calls we've had this week. Gavin's had a very unusual letter. Well, you? yes, I have actually, because Rowena Hyatt from Brackley in Northampton just sent it to me. It's a lovely note she received from her milkman about the price of her daily pinter. She was a bit alarmed because he says, therefore, as from the 2nd of May, it will rise by 1p per pint. <laughs> Mind you, according to the PS, it will be a relief milkman. <laughs> Well, we've actually been sent secretly a picture which Richard Lee from Dewsbury found in an old cardboard box. And Adrian has not uh. seen this picture for some years. It was taken, Adrian, in 1968 in Hornby County Secondary School. And I don't suppose anyone at home will recognise this little angel. Oh. Can I say, Adrian, what a trendy hairstyle you have. <laughs> Look, I'll let you into a secret. Oh, I can't believe you've got that. When I was young, about 12, I was paranoid about going bald. So I opened a trusty savings bank account, put two and six in every Friday, giving my age away here, in the hope, because I'd read that Frank Sinatra had a £5,000 wig, so I thought, when I get to my age, I'll be able to afford one of those wigs. <laughs> and it looks wonderful, and it looks <laughs> at work, worth at least half a crown, doesn't it? <laughs> I'll get my own back on you for that. <laughs> oh, yes, it's me, isn't it? Anyway, so terrified by that. Enough of this nostalgia, because uh, why don't you all pop down to the English National Ballet in Essex, where the performance is making them all jump for joy. <laughs> Later in the programme, we're going to discover why Carla Lane thinks this could be a very dangerous game for dogs. And as usual, our researchers are ready right now, awaiting your calls on our hotline, open for the next two hours to take any urgent information you may have for us. The number, of course, is 81 752 But first, this week's guest star, and we're delighted to welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Janet Brown. <laughs> A gentleman in the audience was just talking about you before the show began, and he was saying that you carry with you special enormous teeth to do an impression of me with. <laughs> That's nonsense. I used to have special teeth, but I don't really think I need them anymore. No, I don't think you do either. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> we have a selection of very strange pictures and cuttings yeah. for you, selected by the viewers, for you to read. Oh, I'd be delighted to. So, ladies and gentlemen, for the meantime, Miss Janet Brown. <laughs> Now, most of us have a dream of some kind, but very few of us ever see that dream come true. So how cruel it must be to have your dream come true, only to find it shattered by harsh reality. That's what's happened to Veronica and John Robertson, who live in Nocturum in the Wirral. Veronica told us. It's always been my dream to own an old painting, an oil painting, preferably a seascape. My family come from Hove. Perhaps that's why I've had this yearning. Well, it could be a bit pretty expensive yearning. Yes, well, I never wanted to own an old master. I couldn't possibly afford thousands. But last year, John and I passed an antique sale in St George's Hall in Liverpool, and we decided to go in. And there, deep in an old trunk, I saw the picture of my dreams. And this is the picture she saw. I'd better be very careful of it, haven't I? As you see, it is exactly what 